shiny object syndrome what is that how can it affect your business or career and how can you overcome it hi i'm ishan and you are going to find answer to all these questions here in this video so stay tuned with me so let us first know in the detail what is shiny object syndrome before we actually get started please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this well to answer that I would say, have you ever felt instant gravitation towards every new idea and then you drop the one that you are working on currently? Or if yes, it's okay. This happens with all of us, right? Because uh, as an entrepreneur, we always try to find better opportunity. But what if this instant gravitation for a new thing become a habit? Then it's called shiny object syndrome. And in a business settings, shiny object uh, syndrome is when someone is constantly chasing the latest strategy, tactics or advice and making the round within the industry. Okay. And it is something which is not at all good for your growth and for your success. Because if you keep dropping your projects and plans in a midway and keep persuading a new ones, you will reach nowhere. Okay. So if you feel you are always jumping on the latest business trends, then you might be dealing with the shiny object syndrome. But don't worry because you can control it. You can actually overcome the shiny object syndrome by following the, these simple yet effective steps. Okay. And uh, how can I say this with confidence? Because just like you, I was dealing with the same problem when I was trying like random gigs here and there to reach my income goals. But none of them actually worked until I stopped myself from chasing a new thing and focus on my real skill. Today, I am the owner of five figure online business and all this happened because I found the right plan and a system and I'm sticking with it. Uh, listening to my mentors, I was able to focus on the right place and I developed the skill that was actually making me and made me a lot of money. And now I'm going to share my four tips that helped me to focus and overcome the shiny object syndrome. Okay. So the first thing first, that is understand yourself and your actual skill. I mean, if you know what you are good at and what your best skill are, you can find the activities and opportunities where you can utilize your skill to the fullest. Plus knowing yourself is really important because it will give you a clear picture of what you are capable of and what not. And this sets your right mindset and stops you from going after the shining new strategy or business model that you cannot really execute. Secondly, assess the potential of a new shiny thing. Okay. So listen, I am not telling you to not to try anything new at all. I mean, I understand when you are nowhere, you have to start somewhere and try different things to figure out what works best for you. And it's sometimes necessary to try new things because that's how you will gonna learn and how you will gonna evolve. Even I did a lot of hustling before I hit success. I did affiliate marketing. I did drop shopping. I actually uh, set up my Facebook ad agency and what not. So I am not telling you to not to try anything new at all. But all I am saying is you can actually assess the prof profitability and the cost of a new plan you are about to pick. And you should not just assess your new project in terms of money, but also in terms of time and effort that you have to make in it and whether you will be able to execute it, drop it in the middle. Doing this will help you to pick the right projects and, or plan that you will likely not to drop in the middle. And also this will stop you from being distracted with some another new opportunity on another day. So you just heard on the internet that you will not gonna pay you off. Okay. So doing this will help you to pick the right projects or plans that you will likely not to drop in the middle. And also this will stop you from being distracted with some new ideas you just heard on the internet that will not going to pay you off. Okay. Now the third thing is set your goals. Okay. So setting goals is really important as it will give you the right direction and setting a goals and a deadline for it will allow you to track your growth and help you to stay focused. And once you start reaching your goals, the feeling, the sense of achievement that you will get, even if it is a small goal, that is totally fine. That feeling will motivate you to stay focused and help you to overcome your shiny object syndrome. 
Now another thing that you can do to overcome your shiny object syndrome to that is off for a side hustle. Okay, so you may say, hey, Ishan, you are telling me how not to fall for a shiny new thing. And now you are telling me to pick a side hustle. Okay, well, bear with me for a while. Let me explain. Having a side hustle doesn't mean you will drop or quit if you are on a project. Okay. In fact, I know many professionals who are making extra income by pursuing side hustle. And in my opinion, having a profitable side hustle is always better than randomly picking up new trends and dropping them before you can even conclude if it's profitable or not and then chase another new thing. Because when you pick a side hustle, you are assigning yourself an extra job or a side business and it is not a just a any shiny thing. You have to choose a side hustle that matches your interests, your area of knowledge, skills and it should be cost effective. And this way you can feed your curiosity or you will to try new things but also with a low risk of losing your time and money. Okay. So now we have come to the end of this video. But before I go, I want to invite you to join my free training. If you're serious about uh, overcoming your shiny object syndrome and want a side hustle that you can pursue to make three to five thousand dollars per month, this training will help you. It is totally free because in this training, I have revealed the things that made me an owner of a five figure business and helped me to overcome the shiny object syndrome. The link is in the description box below and hopefully this video helps you to stay focused and please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. See you in the next video. Until then, keep moving forward and bye for now.